Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. One researcher who has arguably conducted the most amount of research on the Great Pyramid is David Allen Ritchie, and his book, We the Scythians, is one of the most incredible reads you'll ever come across. He explains the in-depth mathematics and geometry encoded in the Giza Plateau, the dimensions and positions of the three major pyramids and their subsidiary satellite pyramids, temples and walls, when measured in royal cubits and inches, mark out all the numbers and principles of sacred geometry. After 20 years of research, his findings are truly stunning. And one of the things that Ritchie discovered is that the pyramids also include the numerical values for musical frequencies, purposefully woven into the architectural planning of the monuments. The courses of the Great Pyramid follow a sequence in their differing thickness that relate directly to musical notation. The Great Pyramid actually plays a song, and you can listen to it at the end of this video. The length in royal cubits of one side of the Great Pyramid is 440. The note A440 is the modern tuning note for an orchestra. It has a frequency of 440 cycles per second. The thickness in inches of the base course of the Great Pyramid, divided by the speed of sound in inches per second, gives a result of 220, which is its resonant frequency. Ritchie discovered that 220 is also the half base dimension of the Great Pyramid, and one octave below middle A. This A220 therefore becomes the starting note of the Great Pyramid's tune and the predominant 35th course, which is two sacred cubits deep, corresponds to the wavelength of middle C on a piano. Granted, this is extremely complicated and it is hard to follow, but I'll continue as best I can. The speed of sound is variable with air temperature and density, but it is approximately 13,170 to 13,200 inches per second, but this is at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, the constant temperature which the pyramid maintains. The Grand Gallery of the Great Pyramid is 1,881.333 inches long, multiplied by 7 is 13,170 inches. According to Ritchie, that means that the Grand Gallery is tuned precisely to 7 cycles per second, in the constant 68 degrees Fahrenheit that the Great Pyramid maintains. Back in the year 1881, Flinders Petrie measured the precise thickness of each course of the Great Pyramid, and here we see the product of Ritchie's calculations and the corresponding notes to each course of stone. The musical aspect of the Great Pyramid is also seen in the pyramids of Khafre and Menkore, with Khafre's responding to the middle C and Menkore's corresponding to G. We talk about sacred geometry of the pyramids, but I don't think I or many people truly understand or even comprehend just how incredible it really is. For example, as Ritchie shows, the Giza Plateau is clearly laid out in 200 by 200 royal cubit squares, the fundamental framework of Giza geometry. Yet, the smaller pyramid of Menkore measures 200 by 196 royal cubits. So why not the perfect 200 by 200? Well, a 200 by 196 base produces a diagonal of exactly 280 royal cubits, which is the precise height of the Great Pyramid. It also makes the volume of the Menkore Pyramid perfectly 1 11th of the Great Pyramid. Did you also know that the volume of the Great Pyramid is equal to that of the other 8 Giza pyramids added together? and that the exact midpoint between the Great Pyramid and the underworld entrance next to the natural hill of Gebel Ghibli is Campbell's tomb, which was also once the location of two giant obelisks above the mysterious chambers below. The whole Giza plateau interrelates so perfectly, and nothing at all was done by accident. There was a complex mathematical master plan. Just like when modern humans sent a message into outer space, carrying a mathematical and geometric message, the pyramid builders did exactly the same thing in times gone by. So, without further ado, with a beat added, here is the song of the Great Pyramid, as produced by David Allen Ritchie in 1998.
The tune plays each step of the pyramid from bottom to top, as a series of seven note arpeggios as encoded into the world's greatest monument. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.